Hello and welcome. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna stay at the still form of intro like that. But, uh, it is me once again, Pops Garage. Welcome back. Um, here again for another day. Resolutions to reality. We survived yesterday. Can you see the bags under my eyes? I look crazy. I look like I've been stressed out. Well, fear not. We did survive the night. We have made it to, what is this? Thursday, January 6th. Day 6. Resolutions to reality, guys. We are chugging along. As you can see, I'm shirtless today because it's about thousand degrees in here right now. I'm in the kids' playroom again. I uh, wanted to rectify the environment after yesterday. It feels like I put a bad omen in here having our little spat yesterday morning. It is currently 6.45 a.m. So we're extra early today for this um, update. And um, kind of still getting into the groove of figuring out a good time frame to get these done. Don't really have a set time that I'm gonna keep these coming except once a day. Um, as far as how it's gonna go when I start working, that's why I'm kind of doing them all different times a day right before I start. Um, I will be starting work on Monday, so very excited about that. I did receive an email from the background check people from my job. Um, they're called Sterling. And they were asking me about a job that I've already told the people at my job that I'm working for. They sent me a request for W-2s or pay stubs. And the job that they were requesting it from was a job that I was getting paid under the table. So I'm having some hiccups with that, which I don't think is a huge issue, which the people at my job, uh, Praxier, they don't care. Um, I've already talked to them about it, but um, their background check company is a third party, so they're still trying to like hunt me down for some W-2s or whatever. But uh, other than that, I mean, I hope that doesn't cause any problems with me starting. Um, I do have my start date for next Monday, which is the 10th. So excited, four more days. Um, I have been getting response, responses from a couple different people. Someone named Blake with Facebook about the money for my shoes. Just got an email, literally just got an email before I started this video um, from someone else, a completely different person named um, Linda. She had um, responded to me about the issue with shoes that I sold that I told you guys about before that have been literally driving me nuts but um hopefully that leads to some good news or some quicker expediting of my money um I hope me not having a shirt is not a huge distraction um I'm not trying to do that as clickbait or nothing I know I'm in such tip-top shape no I'm really fat as hell um it's kind of embarrassing um how I feel about myself, but I mean, I'm not like super hefty, but I just would like to be a little smaller. I would probably like to lose probably 20 pounds. I'm right at about 190, and I'm like 5'9. So it's not terrible. It's really in my thighs, my gut. I got a gut. Not a terrible gut, but it's a gut. And I want to show myself this way too so that you know when I look back I can either say oh man I was that size calling myself fat see now I'm fat as hell or I can look back and say damn I really was fat as hell but thank god I, so, I see myself like that so I can make a change but that's just hearsay for now um so um for day six of resolution to reality I've stuck to my guns haven't smoked drink I had some what did I have 
actually had some liver and mashed potatoes for dinner, which I know a lot of people hate liver. It's high in fiber. Or is it fiber or iron? It's either one of those. That one of the things that people need but don't really get from a lot of other food. It's an organ meat. So it's got a high fiber. I seen on uh, King of the Hill, uh, one of my favorite shows that um, liver gives you gout when you get old. <laughs> That's just simple. I got my cranberry mango juice, my favorite. Um, but other than that, you know, we just been chugging along with these days, keeping ourselves productive. Um, John's a little under the weather. On the downside for today, I do have some negative news to tell you. It's not really negative, it's just unfortunate. Um, so, today's the day of Lacey's grandfather's funeral. I don't know if I'll be attending. Uh, after yesterday's events, I kind of got into a negative mentality and wanted to... Sorry, I'm just looking at my computer, checking the stuff, see if I got any responses from Facebook. Um, so... Yesterday, I had kind of decided after the events had played out that I didn't want to join her. I'm um, just out of spite. Not because, I mean, I already told her that I would, but I just said I didn't want to out of spite. You guys like my bonds out here? This is probably one of the only bonds I was that I've, like, literally taken good care of. Hope it throws some good mojo out there, but um, we kind of just sits in here in the playroom with um, the kids and it's a little bit of light, but he's been chugging along too, you know, he's in good shape. Probably gonna do some more bonsai videos. I really love bonsais. I, I just, I suck at taking care of junipers, which I love junipers, how they look and they grow really fast, but I just can't keep them alive for nothing. And for an update on the juniper that, I'm actually gonna try to turn this fan on, but I don't want it to get too loud. Um, the juniper that I did in my first, um, bonsai video he did not make it and uh, anybody watching that video if you're using those methods to try to save your bonsai or uh, rejuvenate it don't it's gonna die probably wouldn't watch someone else's video uh, i'm not gonna take that video down because you know it's my first video i ever made but um don't take that advice hope if you watch that video, you make it to this video to see um, not to do those things. Um, other than that, what was I talking about before that? I'm not sure. I can't really remember, but we'll just keep chugging along. Um, yeah, it's toasty in here. Toasty, toasty in here. Um, so we got the funeral today. Got mad at me early yesterday because of the key to the car. We don't keep the key to the car on a key ring or a key chain. The piece that actually, it's a plastic key. So the piece that actually would, the part where you would actually put the key on a key chain or a key ring is broken. So you can't put it on the key ring. So there's just one key to our car that we share. And actually left it in the trunk because we had went to the grocery store last night well the night prior and um i left the key in the trunk overnight so anybody could have took my car our car but um she was all up in arms because she couldn't find the key i was like i don't have the key i don't know where the key was and i didn't want to stop my video too early and go do that so once i stopped it i was like did you find it she was like no looked at my pants, I looked at my shirt, and if it's not in those places, then I was like, where did we go last night? And then I remembered, oh, duh, it's in the trunk of the car. And I went outside and looked, and that's exactly where it was. So, I'll take the blame for that. I mean, I didn't do that intentionally. I wasn't trying to make her late or upset her before she went to work. And she did text me a few times while I was making my video, but it's like, I just need 30 minutes out of 24 hours to myself to like breathe and do this and have 
some type of release to be to myself because it's like in my current circumstances I don't have very much personal space and time um, not that I'm like yearning for it deeply I mean I kind of am but I'm not like at my wits end um, but I just don't want to be like one I don't want to be editing these videos because I want them to be natural um, I want them to feel like you know I just push play and do my thing and stop so I, I, I don't like interruption a kid I don't mind because you know they can come and sit with me until I finish they're not very in-depth with what I'm talking about they're kind of just you know wanting to see me um, adults though and other things that come in between I kind of just want because, you know, regardless of what's going on or what's happening, unless something's on fire or someone's seriously injured, I think I deserve 30 minutes to myself to sit and talk to a phone about, you know, how things are going for myself. It's like self-therapy, self-love, like I was talking about before. Which is huge, which is definitely necessary in your life in all of our lives and I hope that in doing this I can bring someone else um, to the realization of what self-love can do for them I watched a, another YouTube channel shout out to the channel I, I just learned this morning and it was um, Think Media Sean Cannell Cannell I'm not sure how he says it but he has a five tips on growing your YouTube subscription base and great tips, I mean, great video, super helpful, super insightful, super motivational. Um, it's got me revved up to want to keep going down this path. Um, but one thing that was super interesting about the, the five things that he had said was the fact that I've already started doing all five of those things before I even watched it. And it wasn't because I had seen that video prior or had ever watched anything about growing my YouTube channel. Um, it was just the fact that I had instinctually been doing those things myself. And as I had mentioned before, it's really not about the growth at this stage for me. It's really about the consistency. It's really about the um, establishing of um, a consistent habit that's going to maybe or maybe not lead in a more productive um, regimen for my lifestyle. I feel like my lifestyle has been super scattered. Um, super um, spread super thin so I'm trying to improve that and that's been one of my resolutions is to put more energy into organizing my circumstances organizing my attention organizing my, my um, habits that I'm um, growing with discipline and um, trying to become better with those Something else that I noticed that was kind of funny, not about the YouTube, this is me going in a totally different direction. Um, but um, I noticed that after I had um, had that little altercation with her, that my videos from the day prior were like, like they had, I don't get a lot of views, I'm just gonna be real. I don't get views like that. Like if it's not me watching them myself or my kids, I don't get a lot of views. So I seen that I had some, like two new views on a few videos and I was like I was telling myself in my head I was like I bet she's at work watching my YouTube channel to see if I post a new video of us getting into it a little bit on YouTube the way like the exact way it actually happened was I edited it out because people always want to see themselves in something and I've been doing this for days now I haven't really promoted it like that. Like I haven't shared any of these videos on Facebook, mainly because I want this to be something that the people who are subscribed to me find easily, rather than putting it out there like, hey, look at me sitting and talking to a camera for 30 minutes about myself. Um, I'd rather this just be something that you come across while you're watching maybe one of my shoe reviews or a how-to video, because I don't want to bombard people with me just rambling about more pertinent to me than anybody else um, but I do want people to, to see my journey I mean it's just getting started it's super fresh so I'm not gonna really 
force that down anyone's throat right now. I'm really just trying to get the content going for um, not just algorithmic purposes, but also for um, consistency purposes and disciplinary purposes to try to get my, as I said before, get that regimen um, flowing. Because, you know, once I get into the groove of this being a consistent everyday thing on a regular basis on a schedule, um, I want to get that posted for when I'll be definitely getting things done. I mean, it's going to be a lot easier once I see how my work schedule is going to be and how I can manipulate my life to squeeze in that little 30 minutes for myself in order to keep this on a daily basis. I'm not going to stop doing this no matter what. I don't care how I have to do it. If I have to get up early before work, if I have to stay up late after I get off, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to stop giving you guys my 365 days of revol resolutions to reality. Um, as I had mentioned in my first video, um, I'm proud of myself for the resolutions that I kept last year and how those stayed prominent in my mind throughout the entire year. And I feel like if I can set resolutions that are realistic and move forward with them and keep that mentality throughout the year, because I mean, let's be honest, who's really thinking about their New Year's resolution after May? I mean, it's really not nothing that's even on your mind if you haven't gotten yourself into that cycle. Now, um, someone once told me before that, like, it takes 28 days for something to become a habit. Or it takes 20, 28 days, I think. 28 days for something to become a habit or 28 days for you to break a habit. A little less than a month. So, if I can make it to the end of January doing this, it's game over for y'all. It's game over because you can guarantee you'll see 365 videos of me sitting somewhere in in solidarity talking to you guys through my phone, getting an email, not from Facebook, um, about how my life is going, what's going on, how things are um, changing and updating um, on a consistent basis because that's just what I want to be doing. Just something that I feel like is going to be a productive habit to substitute for the unproductive habits that I've accumulated over time. Um, where does this big huge spoon come from? I was looking around because I wanted to brush my beard. I just feel like my beard is super scruffy. I've just been laying around and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to brush it. I look crazy. But once again, that's not what this is about. I'm not trying to be cute or pretty for this. I'm just trying to not look like a homeless man, even though I am. But, uh, <laughs> that's not funny. Back to what I was talking about. Um, so we're up early, bright and early. I'm hoping that things go smooth with her um, family and the, the, the laying to rest. Uh, her grandfather, rest in peace to him. My condolences to any of her family that ever watches this, if they ever watch this. Um. I am here in support. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to be there in attendance um, because John's still running his fever and Hudson has been a little fussy um, this morning. So we'll see how that goes. She says she might take one and I'll keep the other. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to make today as smooth as possible for her. Take as much load off her shoulders as I can. Um, she had mentioned that um, she wants to um, get some stuff for the baby, um, which I'm pretty sure she wants to name her Atlee. Not 100% positive. I am a huge fan of the name Kessler. I don't know. I, I just love the name Kessler. I think the name Kessler is. She does not a fan of that name. She likes Atlee. Uh, I also like Willow. Um, she's okay with Willow, who's not her favorite. Um, but um, I'm just calling, right, right now, I'm just calling it Sissy. Like, I just call it Sissy because it's going to be my second daughter and we're not completely definitive on what we're going to name her. But um, 
Super excited about that too. Uh, probably more anxious than excited. It's always like super nerve wracking bringing the life into the world and being it under these circumstances, not knowing how things are gonna go. But I know she's super stressed out about like having enough of everything we need. And I'm more of like a last minute person who likes to have it there um, recently, which is why this is gonna help with that as well because it's gonna get me more organized, more into planning more into um doing things ahead of time instead of procrastinating and being complacent um and i do feel a, a sense of guilt for not being more um not having more of a sense of urgency towards her needs and her comfort as far as getting all the things that we need like i feel like after you have all these kids it's kind of just like a drop in the bucket but uh, to her, it's super important. It's always important to me, too. Because we are a team, and we struggle like any other team. Uh, trying to find that dub. It's trying to find that dub. You got to be a team if you want to find that dub. Um, but it's all about the win, you know. We're, we're, we're going to take losses. We're going to bump each other's heads. It's like we weren't raised around each other our whole lives. We haven't known each other our whole lives. We don't know everything about each other. It's a learning process. It's a learning curve. So, I mean, there are going to be days like yesterday. There's going to be a lot of days like yesterday. A lot of days are going to, you just feel like, you know, you just want to, you just want to haul off and just be, be just call it quits. But like Sean was saying in his video, which I love the things that he brought up, you got to be committed. You got to stay committed because commitment is what leads down the path of success. Nothing is going to work without commitment. support that and um, I feel like it's it's like has a lot to do with baby steps it has a lot to do with being messy when you start out and you know getting fine-tuning your skills and that's what a lot of this is and some things that he had mentioned that I, I, I do think I need to work on are the fact of what exactly do I want to offer as far as like a service or an entertainment purpose. And it's like, I'm not really sure if this would be more of a service or entertainment. I'm gonna lean towards entertainment because I'm really not serving many people telling my story. My story is not really a service. I mean, I could be serving other fathers who are going through similar situations or, you know, people that look like me who are, you know, that don't have kids that don't have fathers that want to hear somebody and what their life is like. I'm not exactly sure what the service could be considered for. This would be a super niche market um, if I was offering a service. But um, it's more of just entertainment. Like, I really just want to give you guys a, a sneak peek 30 minutes into my life, 30 minutes into my day, 30 minutes into what it's like hanging out with me, um, 30 minutes of being your friend. 30 minutes of telling you, you know, what's going on with me, um, which is far-fetched, far-fetched as hell, but hey, it is what it is, we're just trying to f figure it out as we go, you know, I'm trying to get things, um, get things in order like everybody else, I just realized there's a hamster ball here, and we've never had a hamster, it's amazing what you find in your house, but, uh, in your mom's house, I guess you would say, because I'm homeless, but, uh, I say that jokingly, but it's really depressing if you think about it in real life, I mean, look, just turned 30, I'll be 31 this year, you know, life's hit me pretty hard with the pandemic, I mean, it was whooping my ass before the pandemic even happened, but it's like Steve, Sean said, hey, if you haven't quit, you could still win, you know, quitting is when you really lose, you know. I'm definitely not gonna quit. I'm definitely not gonna quit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna falter. I'm not gonna hang my head. I'm gonna hold it up high because I know for a fact that it's worse for somebody else. I know for a fact that somebody else is looking at me like there's no way this guy is um, struggling with anything because you know I, I do try to hide my issues and keep my personal life private. But for what you know, I'm only gonna live once. Um, I'm not going through something that no one else has ever went through. I'm not 
gaining anything from bottling it all up and, and not expressing how I feel or what's going on. I mean, I'm only making it harder for myself, taking on all this responsibility and all this um, turmoil by myself when I have an amazing support system around me at all times. I'm just refusing to utilize it. And it's like, I, I, I can offer so much good advice to my friends and my family and my loved ones, but it's like, I can't take that advice myself. It's like, why? Why are you not listening to your own voice? Well, you know, sometimes it's hard to hear yourself when you don't shut up. And it's like, I am always shut it up. I've always been super quiet, super reserved, conservative. And I think it's time to fix that because I've told a lot of people in recent years, like the squeaky wheel gets the oil. And if there ever was a time that I needed oil for these squeaky wheels, um, this would be it. Sorry, my idea. 20%. But we're coming up on 26 minutes, so I'm going to be wrapping this up soon. Um, but as I was saying, um, if there was ever a time that I needed oil, it would be now. And that's okay, because it's like the hardest part of um, for me, the hardest part of needing help is asking for it. And telling people that, that hey, I'm not okay. And I talk about sometimes, you know, being like suicidal in my head about, you know, uh, uh, just dealing with so much and it's like that's really not me that's really not me at all like I don't want to leave my children I don't want to give up on all that I've learned and understood like that is not the goal for me and it's like it's not that I feel so defeated it's just that I don't feel like anyone else understands and I feel like if I can get my message out to someone else then maybe someone else out there will respond back and say, hey, I feel you, man. Like, it's it's rough, but just keep going. And I get that a lot. I get a lot of that support from watching other people say that in their videos. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, I don't see a lot of people that look like me making those videos. I mean, there are some here and there. And I haven't really said, hey, black motivational speakers, white screen with dreads. You know, I'm not searching that in YouTube. I'm not trying to get that specific. But you know, as long as I put it out there, eventually it'll find the right person who needs to hear it. And I just have to trust in the universe and the methodologies, uh, methodology of how the universe is set up, that we're all connected, we're all one, and that we all need each other. So if I continue to put out my voice and, and squeak my wheel, I'll get the oil. And that's really all I ask. I'm not asking for this to, 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 to catapult me into stardom or make me some huge influencer. That's, that doesn't even matter to me. The thing that matters to most to me is to have stability in my household, a household in general, <laughs> the household, <laughs> um, stability, um, personal comfort and security. Uh, an outlet, an outlet to release like built up tension outside of therapy and professional help. And a way to be like, a way to leave a, a, something for my children to look back if anything would ever happen to me and say, I can still hear my dad's voice and talk to him or hear him talk to me about what life was like when he was here and make me have a, let me have like some sort of, let me have some sort of like connection to them when I'm not around or if I'm ever taken away from them in any way. Um, and this gives me all of that, you know, I don't ask for riches beyond means or everything that I've ever asked for. I just want, you know, the simple things. And I'm going to keep those standards. I don't want to heighten that to an extreme or anything like that. But we'll see how it goes, you know. We're just getting started. And we're going to keep, keep it small, 30 minutes. I'm not going to spread myself too thin because I know I have a lot of 
responsibility on my plate, but if that's what I want, you know, I want to stay busy, I want to stay focused, I want to make the gist of my purpose helping someone else, mainly my children, and then everyone else after that. Um, I know some things are more difficult than others to accomplish, but I don't feel like I'm incapable of making um, the things that I'm trying to get from this. time and we'll be there but I think someone's standing outside the door I can hear somebody standing outside the door but the oh, I think someone's in the bathroom but um no biggie I'm, this is all I'm just distracted sorry um can't remember where I was going with that now because you know it's always uh, some kind of distraction I don't care how it goes how hard I try it's always a distraction right it's always in my face but maybe that's my timer maybe that's the universe saying hey man we've heard enough we've heard enough of your sap story get on up and get back to work you know your break is over you know what I mean the lunch bell has rang but uh that's no big deal because we are at some of the old videos not I didn't watch them but I looked at the time on them and a couple of them are like 38 34 I think stuff like that so I'm not really trying to keep it uh, an exact thing but it could be a little more a little less here and there depending on what's going on I mean I know there will be days when it'll be more days when it's less well it's not gonna be less I'm not gonna do it less ever But um, we did what we had to do, and that's all that matters, you know. We 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 made it to work again another day, and that's important to me. That's the most important part of showing up, you know. That's really where you where it all starts when you show up. Um, but I, I feel like there was something else that I was trying to say about. What I was trying to get out of this, um, I just can't exactly remember what the last one was that I had said to try to remember what the one I was going to tell you was. Mm. I'm trying to think, what could it be? Oh, so the other thing that I wanted to get out of this was to be able to offer someone else, someone that maybe I've never to see that, you know, maybe they're not um, at a stage in their lives where they feel like they're at their lowest, but they're close, and then they see me and they hear my story, and they're like, hey, that would really suck to be him, <laughs> and I can offer someone else the ability to say, hey, at least, you know, I don't have that guy's problems, or at least I'm not as messed up as he is. And not saying that I'm so terribly messed up, but just saying that, you know, if I can help someone see that they have a reason to be grateful for where they are and what they have, then that's something to be proud of, too. And I'm not ashamed to be in that a low point in my life. It is what it is, you know. We just have to accept it, um, address it, and make adjustments to our lives, you know. If I was to say... Hey, I'm at my lowest point, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do, and then change nothing about what I'm doing. Then it's like, that's, that's the definition of insanity. I never, I've never said in any of my videos or ever to myself that I felt like I was insane. So, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up around here because I know I've talked your guys' ear off. Um, I got my um, Shaft movie playing. It's turn it down really low but um it's been on since i started recording and um i think it's just now getting to a good part where i want to pay attention but i've seen this already so i'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know hey everything is okay over here everybody's good we're gonna keep chugging along through this little rough patch we're in and I will tune back in at some point tomorrow. 
I'm going to try to get this out earlier today because, you know, I want to trial and error on what are the best times to get things released. Not so much for viewership, but just for how it'll work with my schedule when I start working. Um, and how I can be able to... Another email from Robin Hood. Um... Another thing I wanted to bring up to you guys is other topics that I wanted to start to venture into that may turn into channels. I mentioned the, the, the comedy. I mentioned the, um, the, the, like the daily prayer. Um, maybe um, doing like prayers with you guys. Um, I, but I'm also thinking about doing like a real estate thing. Maybe like some finance things because I'm kind of savvy on those too. Maybe not the best, but who is, you know, who can call themselves the best and actually do it, um, but just different things that I'm interested in that I wouldn't mind sharing with somebody else, things that people ask me about in my personal life that I'm somewhat knowledgeable on, not the most knowledgeable, but somewhat that, um, we can, uh, learn together, you know, because I'm all about learning, you know, that's exactly what I think the, the best way to describe whether I'm a entertainer or a servicer if i was to offer a service it would be education because i'm just trying to teach people that it's not as bad as you think you know it's not as bad as you think and we can always um there's always room for improvement and we're all works in progress hey i see a joel hosting book over here joyce myers wow wow i haven't seen this guy in a Guy got the your best life now, Joel Osteen. Um, seven steps to living at your full potential. This might be a good read. I might have to check this guy out. He's he his his speech is super interesting. I like the way he talks. Don't know why that's a thing, but I do like the way that guy talks. It's very common. It's like something you can sleep to. Not in like a funny, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm just saying he has a very like calming, soothing aura about his speech. That's cool. I like it. I could listen to it for a long time, but it does make me kind of like super relaxed. Not so much sleepy, just relaxed. But relaxation gives me a boost to sleep for me. Well, I'm going to stop rambling now and go ahead and get this edited. Um, it is, let me check the pewter, check the pewter, 7.21, so I should have this out before 10 a.m., depending on how long it takes to, um, what's it called, upload and download, um, do the little enhancements, I like to put a little enhancement on it because I kind of look ashy. Other than that, me and my enlarged forehead are going to go on about my day and figure out how we're going to maneuver through what we have going on. I do want to say thank you again for watching, subscribing, whatever you've done. If you like anything that you see. Don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up uh, or the subscribe. Um, I will keep them coming for you. If it's not something you like, leave a comment and tell me how I can improve to your liking and I might consider it. Um, but other than that, you know, hey, thanks a lot. And let's just keep making this journey down this path called life together, you know. Um, it's me, the Pops Garage. That's all I got for today. Adios.